Whoa, whoa, oh my gosh. I'm not sure where I am right now, you guys. Good morning. How are you? Good? Everybody good? Are you good? Are you good? Do you think I have kids in here with me? I don't. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Who knows what Sunday this is? Did anybody say the 23rd Sunday? Is it Advent, Lent, Ordinary Time? Yes, Ordinary Time. You got it. It's Ordinary Time. So what color is the priest wearing? Green. Good. All right. Let's say our prayers, shall we? In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Ready? Good morning. Magadamu Maga. Ni hao. Salwe. Buenos dias. Konnichiwa. Anyang haseo. Suste. Namaste. Namaste. Ready? Namaste. Good morning again. Good morning. Good job. Bonjour. Buongiorno. Say it again. Buongiorno. Bon dia. Dear God, thanks for the many languages in our world. Please remind me we all belong. To your big human family, no matter what language we speak, no matter what country we live in, no matter what country we're born in, no matter what color our skin, no matter what religion we are, we are all your children and your big human family. Please help me. Be a peacemaker in our big human family. We love you. One more time. We love you. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Good job, you guys. That was good. I think I might have left out some of the um, good mornings. So if you remember it, you can tell me next week. <laughs> I'll ask you, and you can shout it out to me, right? Hey, did any of you do that drawing picture? Nobody did it. You don't want to draw a picture? Okay, I hope you will. Just mail it to the, oh, you don't mail it. You turn it in. You draw it, and they take a picture, or you can mail it to the office, okay? Because maybe we have a prize for you. Anyway. What song shall we do today? How about If I Were a Butterfly? Okay, we almost always do that one, right? All right, let's do that. Okay, let's whistle it. Okay. Sing, if I were a butterfly, I thank you, Lord, for giving me wings. If I were a robin in a tree, I thank you, Lord, that I could sing. If I were a fish in the sea, I'd wiggle my tail and I'd giggle with glee. But I just thank you, Father, for making me me. What? Uh-huh. You gave me a heart and you gave me a smile. You gave us Jesus and you made me your child. But I just thank you, Father, for making me me. Ha ha. Woo. 
If I were a fuzzy wuzzy bear, I'd thank you, Lord, for my fuzzy wuzzy hair. Go! If I were a kangaroo, you know I'd hop right up to you. If I were a crocodile, I thank you, Lord, for my big smile. But I just thank you, Father, for making me me ready. Okay, fast. You gave me a heart, and you gave me a smile, and you gave us Jesus, and you made me your child. But I just thank you, Father, for making me me. Ha ha. Oh! You gave me a heart, and you gave me a smile, and you gave us Jesus, and you made me your child. But I just thank you, Father, for making me me. Ha ha. Oh! Good job, you guys. Did your mom and dad see you do that? All right. I hope they did. Okay. And how about, you want to do love in any language or you want to do that one? God the Father, God the Son. Which one? Okay. Love in any language? All right. Let's do that. Ready? I don't want to start out too high because, you know, then I go off. <laughs> Ready? Love in any language, straight from the heart, pulls us all together, oops, never apart. And once we learn to speak it, all the world will hear. Love in any language, fluently spoken here. One more time and a little bit lower. Show it to your little brothers and sisters, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. Love. Ready? Let's do it low. Love in any language, straight from the heart, pulls us all together, never apart. And once we learn to speak it, all the world will hear love in any language fluently spoken here did you get it give yourselves a good clap are you clapping a good clap how about a drum roll okay and how about a train Okay, and how about a violin playing? Anybody play a little violin music? Slow, and then a little bit faster. Okay, keep doing it, keep doing it. You got it? All right. Um, we have a little reading, but I don't know where the book is, so let's just see what happens. I don't know. I don't know where it is. Has anybody seen it? Whoops. Wow. Isn't this beautiful? This beautiful holder? I don't know where it came from. Do you? All right. Here we go. We're at the 23rd Sunday in Ordinary Time, right? A. <laughs> All right. Today we're not going to have a gospel. We're going to use the second reading. Okay? So I'm going to read that to you now, and then we'll talk about it. Okay? It's a reading from the letter to Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, boys and girls, let love be your only debt. If you love others, you have done all that the law demands. In the law, there are many commands, such as be faithful in marriage, do not murder, do not steal, do not want but what belongs to others. But all of these are summed up in the command that says, love others as much as you love yourself. No one who loves others will harm them. So love is all that the law demands. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All right. Did you get that? Let's talk about it a little and then I'm going to read it again. What is a debt? Who knows what a debt is? It's something that we owe, right? 
It's something that hangs over our heads. Sometimes people have a debt on their home. Let's spell it. Ready? D-E-B-T. Right? <laughs> yes. D-E-B-T, debt. So we're going to say it and spell it. Ready? D-E-B-T, debt. All right? So we have debts. When you're young, you don't have too many. But maybe you bought a book and you didn't have enough money and your mom or dad gave you some money for it. So you owe them a little bit. We owe somebody. Okay? Then the other thing is be faithful in marriage. Love your spouse. Moms and dads love each other. Okay? Don't kill people. I don't think any of you have done that, right? Don't steal. Maybe sometimes people have done that. And do not want what belongs to others. How many of you sometimes want what belongs to others? Raise your hand. Yeah. Could be their dog, cat, horse, toys, pens. Sometimes people have beautiful pens. And not just one or two, but like a whole box of them. We want those people to learn to share their pins with others, right? Yeah. But the command that says, love others as much as you love yourself. It sounds beautiful, isn't, doesn't it? But it's very difficult to do that. Because we really don't want to give something away sometimes. No one who loves others will harm them. Okay, so sometimes we're hurting people. We don't want to hurt people, right? Not just by hitting or kicking or fighting, but not sharing. We don't share. We don't tell them about something and they miss it. Or we don't tell them what the other kids were talking about. And then they feel like dodos. Like, they missed the whole thing. They didn't know what was going on. Um, what else? Think of some other times and tell them to the kids in your room. Some other times that, uh, you know, people were hurt. How we harm people. Okay. No one who loves others will harm them. So love is all that the law demands. So basically, the only debt we really have is to love others. That's not too bad, is it? Except if there's people that, that we really don't like. And then we have to do it even more. That's the worst part. Because they're not our friends. So it's important. If we have a debt, this is what God said. Brothers and sisters, let love be your only debt. If you love others, you have done all that the law demands. There's all kinds of things that we have to do. But the most important, the very most important thing we have to do is to love the people around us, even people in other countries, people that we don't know, people that are hurting we have to pay attention to what's wrong with them and find ways to help them. So next week, I'm going to ask you, this week, how did you show someone in your family that you love them? All right? It's not too hard to do, but we don't always think about it. So ask God in your brain to please help me remember to, um, how, to be able to tell Sister Sarah, how did I show my love for somebody in my family? Because that's mostly who you're going to see, right? Okay. Thank you, guys. It's so nice being here with you. I can't wait to see you sometime. But have a good weekend and a great week. And don't whine. No whining this week. Okay? No whining. All right. Bye. Thanks.